Hello, this is how could it be, and today we are tumbling right into our slash tumbler. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. <sighs> now let's get right into this. And we're starting off strong with something I have to uh, either zoom in ridiculously on or open a new tab. That super big doofus sent us up the river. Well, little miss, look at all my patches. If you had insisted on leading, we wouldn't. We probably wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. Do you see this patch? Probably you'd never find out what it's for. Okay, Isabella. Well, I love of an uh, ominous patch related threats more than anyone. <laughs> right. Apart from firm. I love how in the absence of Perry to play first. Hines Dupish words immediately goes to antagonize the most confident child with a hat on in his vicinity. Do y'all think he would recognize her if she took off her hat? Like, a fireside a girl puts on hat. Isabella the fireside girl! These tags, I can't. <laughs> Being used for heritage posts. This was childhood. I often had debates with my brother or if one of Isabella's patches was from killing a man. Signs point to yes. Oh my goodness. We just saw all, all body. This is already bad for... Or, or, or any chance of... Uh, not getting in trouble, probably. <sighs> My mom loves to lie, I and mean, like she's oh, oh she always says she was never homophobic or anything to me as a child. I even have a gay work friend, but a really funny damn, I really gave her a really bad voice. But a really funny memory resurface recently where I asked if I could use birthday money, yeah I had to buy a rainbow flag when I was like seven. Because I loved rainbows. And she said no, that means something evil and God will hate you. So what did I do? But ask my grandma for a rainbow sweater for Christmas and proceed to only wear that sweater for three years. When it got cold because I didn't like the idea that God hated colors and I wanted to challenge him. And you know what? I'll challenge that too. Why would you hate colors? I just don't get it. <sighs> Transgender women will be banned from competing in top-level female or chess tournaments while the games governing and body adjudicates whether they have an unfair advantage. How? Too strong for sports, too pretty for beauty pageants, too smart for chess. And literally, turfs are going with the argument men are smarter than women now. Even if, if these men are women, because they're women, even they're, if they're women, because they were born, because they were AMAB, apparently they're smarter and, 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 and cis women for some reason. Just gonna point it out that these um, supposed feminists are really anti-feminists. 
and are really just supporting the patriarchy really hard, aren't they? Hmm. Crazy, that. If you ask yourself, would, would Gomez Adams treat me this way? And the answer is no. Move the freak on from that situation. If you're a woman loving woman, ask if Morticia would ever treat you this way. If the answer is no, move on. Is this how an Adams would behave is the best way to make sure you're treated fairly and with love. I don't know about that one. I mean, I haven't watched a little bit of Wednesday. I hope nobody ever treats me like uh, I, 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 like Wednesday does. Holy crap. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want Ferrant is chasing me. Although, I love the vibe. I love the vibe. The most dangerous kind of canoes are volcanoes. I'm going to pronounce it like that now. Volcanoes. Oh my goodness. Have you ever been to a volcano? The only bad part about going to the zoo is have is hearing adult men confidently tell their kids or GFs objectively incorrect information about the animals, as we're looking at and having to remain silent. And do you know the restraint it takes to say nothing when a grown man tells someone falcons are in the same family as eagles next to me? No, baby girl, no. For your information, falcons are not closely related to other birds of prey. Hawks, eagles, buzzards. Falcons are actually parrots that min-max for glass cannon DPS build. Assault parrots, if you will. Oh my goodness. The thicker your thighs, the more kittens can lay on your lap. This is the body positive that I've been waiting for. Slap, hang on, slaps, slaps thighs. These bad boys can hold up to 20 kittens. I slapped my thigh like three times, and I wanted to make it an actual slap sound, but I didn't slap hard enough. And the first few times there was like a blanket over my legs or shorts were a little bit too low. Hmm. I've noticed this trend online where men think that if you relate to a character who looks like you, it's narcissistic and insecure. But saying, wow, he's literally me, to Ryan Gosling movie character number 634 is based? What? Huh. <sighs> I love, love, love it when Japanese mangakas add a little hello or introduction segment on the inside of the book dust cover with their tiny mascot oodle and say the most rev stuff like, Hello, thank you for buying this chapter. I've been interested in blue fish lately. I should go to an aquarium. Po, 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 po. I don't understand that last part, but the rest I freaking agree with, yes. Forum. Help! Hey guys, I'm starting this problem running in my game. Same here, 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 same here. Thread closed. 
Never mind, fixed it. Hey, I got the same problem. Can you tell me how you managed to make it work? Sure, I PM'd you the fix. Last reply, August 3rd, 2002. Make the fixes public, please. We need to know too. Okay, you know how Ghibli movies make eggs look so freaking delicious? Meet the op opposite end of the spe egg spectrum. Yeah, and yes, this is from a British movie. The British cook like they hate food. I mean... If all you have for food is British food, I can understand hating and, and food, but dang. Be nice to the food and it will taste good, you know? I teach high school bio and I had my students do an assignment about the mass extinctions. One of my students then referred to Conodont as funny little guys. Which is fair. They are funny little guys, oh my goodness. <clears throat> If you were to cast Speak With Animals on this thing, I'm sure it would scream to call you an obscure slur like Fig Eater or Wolf Sniffer. I don't want to repeat eat fictional slurs, but dang. I had to, to finish the post. <sighs> I think one of the most profound forms of love is, I'll try that, for you. I may not like it, but I'll try it. It's a confused middle-aged man in a poetry, in a pottery class, whose daughter is helping him with his clay, his plasticity. It's a kid scratching up their brow while listening to their mom's favorite music, trying to figure out why she likes it. It's a girlfriend who says, yes, I'll go oh, with you and her girlfriend cheering and buying a second and take it for a con. It's a friend half dragging another friend through an aquarium, the one being dragged and laughing and calling out, Wait, wait, I know we're here for the exhibition, but I haven't been here. Slow down! It's being willing to spend some of your time trying something new because it makes someone you love happy. Hmm. Oh, I've done that. Weird. I don't care what kind of lore they're coming up with for that Zapota film or whatever the freak over a talk TikTok. Uh, well, nothing will ever come close to the fact Gontrara was spawned entirely from a label on a boot. That was so 2020. Unfortunately, giving it... Popularity in Sass as a cult classic, Gontrara of getting a Solus corporate remake was bound to happen. Probably by Amazon Prime. <sighs> very sad, but very true. Fake, messy, and problematic female character spans when a real old bitch with an attitude problem comes at them. These aren't ready for it. I love NyQuil. It's just like Detroit's become liquid. I don't use a measure cup. I just chug what feels right. I'm moving backwards through a brick wall right now. You could fit anything inside me right now. I'm so relaxed. For sure gonna craft a bed tonight. You've set up NyQuil in a way that most cannot. Hello. <laughs> Hmm. Baby bird for human audience. 
baby bird for bird audience. I think about this. Oh wait, baby human for bird audience. I think about this often. Making OCs when 12, I'm gonna make them cool. Making OCs in high school, they need to have realistic goals, standards, aspirations, and dreams. Their backstory must be tragic or remember the end of their goals. This is a serious character and I will treat it like such. Okay, I made my OC when I was in high school and I just like gave up on the story that, that I made for it. It was like, oh no, this character is a God who's lived forever and is actually super depressed or whatever because they can't freaking die. And I was like, okay, whatever. Okay, I'll see now. Their name is literally hella dope. <laughs> the majestic little lion monster actually made it on to a banister instead of doing his usual old hard miss fall by sliding down the railing. This is the most aesthetic photo I've ever seen, possibly. That is pretty aesthetic. That is a good look. Like, that is a beautiful photo. I want to see that more often. I have no will to live. I will... Hedagram robot, like... I will live on! Hedagram robot, point six. I fight hedagrams for stuff. Uh, I know I don't always make sense, but I'm getting better. My goodness. I feel like if humans swallowed rocks like birds do to help grab food, we'd have so much fun with it. <sighs> Can you just imagine all the girlies on TikTok going, I know this is a bit controversial, but I honestly love using limestone as an astrolith. Not only can you readily forage it, but they are just so pretty when smoothed out after regurgitating them. And all the comments would be, be like, Girl, cast it, it dissolves in some acid. Just use quartz if you want a pretty astrolith. It's like, it, dang. <laughs> I like this, this site. Y'all just shotgun and counterfactual timelines. Looks like Tumblr has been redesigned. Oh dear. Our Wi Fi break again. How do conservatives think talking to children works? If a four-year-old came up to me and said, I'm a cat, I would say, really? What makes you a cat? And they'd say some, some stuff like, I have claws. And I'd be like, oh wow, you do have claws. Oh wait, I thought cats had pointed ears. And they'd say, they do. And I'd pull up a picture of an elf and ask, is this a cat? And they'd yell, no. You wouldn't say, Freaking heck, Emily! Get together, this is the real world! Guess this applies to gender, too. If a, gr if a kid says, I'm a girl, it might be because they're a girl, or it might be because they've got an incomplete picture of what a girl is in their brains. And as a parent, your job is to help them um, complete those pictures, but ask them questions and give them new information and playing with them. Not abusing them. But, you know, conservatives are child abusers, as we already know. Oh, no. I don't know why that picture of our table just broke, but whatever. Mm. Love the contrast between the Americans Apollo and the Soviet Sputnik. You got the Americans naming their a rocket after a great god, trying to communicate the grandness and importance of this rocket. And you got the e Soviets naming the rocket Fellow Traveler, like a friend you go on an adventure with together. 
This rocket is our little friend. And they were gay for each other. And they were gay for each other. And this too is Yuri. Yuri Gagarin. God dang it. My understanding of d d is that the GM has the power to make a quest, the next quest a heist, but the player controls whether the background music for the heist will be the Pink Panther theme, the Mission Impossible theme, or the Benny Hill theme. <laughs> Pretty much. Prime Video has debuted a new feature called Dialogue Boost. Which lets viewers increase the volume of dialogue relative to the, to the background music and effects. Finally, some good freaking food. It is currently available for a limited number of titles, but will become avail available on more later this year. Heartbreaking. The worst streaming service you know did a very cool thing. Dang it. I actually watch anime on um, Prime. They have that like high dive thing. So I just watch it on that. Someone in the awesome Facebook book group I'm in just asked, How am I supposed to earn enough to make a living without burning out? Someone replied, you're not. Even neurotypicals can't right now. Oh, and the system designed for them. Where are the carnaries in the coal mine? When we start falling, they know something is wrong. People keep saying, Oh, everyone thinks they're neurodivergent now, or they'll say it's the foods or chemicals or whatever nonsense they've fallen for. But three the answers are so obvious. We've got to a point that more and more people are being left behind by the system, making it so that neurodivergent parents who could get by fighting enough in de decades or centuries past are bringing children into a, a world that cannot and will not attempt to accommodate them. There's nothing in the water and people aren't faking it. It's just that this is no longer sustainable or livable, and of course we won't it disabilities will be hit first and hit the hardest. There aren't more people with it. It's just hard to go through life without being aware that you're not functioning the way your peers seem to be able to. Pretty much. Pretty much. My Wi-Fi broke. Oh no. Okay. We're gonna try this. How about I don't have to scroll all the way back down? I see. How about I give you a reason to have no internet? Now let's try this again. Oh no. It's set me back to the top. Why would you do this? Ads aren't supposed to be a part of this experience. Huh. Hmm. 
Okay, we have a lot of scrolling to do to get back to where we were. Here. Oh. Three research about club penguins and niche RP fandoms, and you can't convince me this guy wasn't a proto Tumblr sexy man. The Herbert P. Bear should be a Tumblr sexy man. I don't know. I still don't quite get the, um,. Tumblr sexy man thing. Oh, hey, we have new posts here. We all have that one series we like, that when someone criticizes it, even if they're 100% correct, you're like... Oh. One, you're absolutely right. And two, I don't care! No, come on. I think I've already read this before. Oh. It's like we're running out of um, new stuff. I guess that's it for today's tumbling. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!